Hello everyone, I'm Terry Duke and welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking a first look at one of the most ambitious Bannerlord mods I've seen so far, the Trial of the Seven Kingdoms. This mod is essentially a total conversion of Bannerlord, taking us to Westeros from the Game of Thrones show and novels. As I've explained in my previous videos, because Bannerlord is still in early access, making mods for it is very difficult, and most tend to be rather small in scale, rather than the massive mods of Mountain Blade Warband. Taking this into consideration, let's play Trial of the Seven Kingdoms. Mind you, this is not only a huge mod, but also a huge work in progress. So what's the mod like right now, and should you play it? If you like the content, feel free to support the channel with a like and subscribe. I just passed 600 subs, 400 more to go before I can monetize my content and make a living off of it. Now let's go! Starting the game, there's no clear difference yet, with the exception of the iconic Game of Thrones theme in the menu. In character creation, the mothers took all the cultures from native Bannerlord and just changed the names. Sturgia is now the North, and Asari is now Dorne, for example. In terms of character creation, it's pretty much the same besides that. There's a lot of new banners, most of which from Game of Thrones itself, but they're not loading properly for me. And here we are, in Westeros. This is the first time I play Bannerlord with a different map, and it's really exciting. Right away we can see the differences with mods from Warband. The map is so much more dynamic, with clouds and the water. And the mothers did all of the towns, just like the show. My god, look at King's Landing! This is amazing! Dragonstone too, it's got the mist all around it. Winterfell is literally the same. And of course, we've got the wall. Unfortunately, as of making this video, that's about as far as the immersion goes. While the world map, at least for Westeros, is virtually done, the scenery itself is almost entirely vanilla. Can you guess where I am right now? This is Castle Black. This here is King's Landing, with the Red Keep totally there in the background somewhere. Not gonna trash the mothers though, I mean, when you realize just how detailed towns and villagers are in Bannerlord compared to Warband, I can't imagine the amount of work left on this mod to bring Westeros to life. That said, it is still Game of Thrones and you can actually meet characters from the show and books. One of the things I was looking forward to the most in this mod was to see how they implement character reputation. This feature is absent from Warband, but in a Game of Thrones mod from Bannerlord, this can be so much fun. Unfortunately, this is far from done. I mean, Joffrey being calculating and merciful? Eh, not quite. Cersei being honest and merciful? I doubt it very much. Ned Stark is definitely not cruel. The Mountain, though, they got him right. Yeah, the Mon also needs more work in that department, but I'm looking forward to characters having the proper traits. It's gonna be really interesting. One area in which the mod is pretty awesome though is with the armors and weapons. They made tons of new items for each kingdom and houses, from Starks to Targaryens to Lannisters. It looks absolutely beautiful. This is a true showcase of how gorgeous mods can be on Bannerlord. There's also unique items such as the Hound's Helmet, which looks awesome. Daenerys' dress is also beautiful, and check this out, you can be the Night King. <laughs> That's hilarious. Side note, I'm currently fighting way up north and the map is in the desert, so the world still needs a little work. Also, I was gonna go to Castle Black as the Night King and just say hi to the Night's Watch, but walking around town puts me in my civil outfit, so it doesn't work. So with all of that, should you play the mod? I'm 50-50. It sure is refreshing to finally go outside Calradia, but with the scale of Bannerlord, making an equally huge total conversion is a massive endeavor, and playing it today, I can see there's a lot more work that's needed. The world and outfits are simply fantastic, the music is straight from the show and very enjoyable, but the scenery is still virtually all native, with a few exceptions like the Iron Throne. So currently, it's basically Bannerlord with a different world and new outfits. That's pretty much it and installing it is a serious pain. For starters, it's currently only available on beta version 1.7.0. The mod is split into several parts, some of which you need to manually alter some parts of the game's folder, like changing the music and the menu. Once it's installed, it's pretty stable, but going back to other mods and game versions is tedious. Also, the mod weighs about 16 gigabytes right now, which should give you an idea of how heavy these total conversions will be. So it's a good mod to cosplay as your favorite Game of Thrones character, but without any fundamental change to the gameplay itself, that's all the mod currently offers. Maybe I'm a little harsh. They did implement smaller mods into this conversion, but they're all fairly subtle changes. 
Trial of the Seven Kingdoms is not yet the massive total conversion we crave from Bannerlord, but it's certainly a promise of being one of the best mods to come. And that about wraps it up. What do you think of the mod? Is there any mods out there that I should try out? Tell me in the comments, and while you're at it, check out the channel. I'll be making more Bannerlord content in the future, but I've also made several videos on Morbin mods. And if you're into nostalgic gaming, check out my classic game series where I review all the games of my childhood and teenage years. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.